Hi, I'm Nick from Tabletop Duo and today you will learn how to play Clue Grab and Go. Setup. Place all character movers on their matching colored squares on the board, even if you're playing with less than 6 players. Place all the weapon cards in separate random rooms. Sort the other cards into 3 decks, guest, weapons and rooms. Take the top card from each deck and place them face down in the middle of the board, in the swimming pool. No one should see the cards. Shuffle the remaining cards together and deal them face down in equal number to each player. Place any spare cards face up in the middle of the board. Give each player a sheet from the detective notebook and a pen. Each player looks at their cards and mark off the suspects, weapons and rooms they have, as they are not the ones in the middle of the board. Do the same with the face up cards in the middle, if there are any. Keep your sheet and the card secret. Choose a mover to play. And now you're ready to learn how to play. The object of the game is to solve the murder by guessing who did it, with which weapon and where, which are the cards you placed face down in the center of the board. Each player rolls one die, the highest number goes first. On your turn, roll both dice and move that number of spaces around the board, trying to reach a room through a doorway. You can move horizontally and vertically, but you cannot move diagonally, nor move through, or land on a square occupied by another player mover. If you are in a room with a secret passage, you can use it by moving the character's mover from one corner room to its connecting corner room. When you enter a room, you must make a suggestion to help you figure out the three cards in the swimming pool. Suggest which character did it and which weapon was used. Be sure to consider all characters, including the ones not playing and yourself. The room you suggest must be the room you are in. Move the suggested character and weapon to that room. Example, this player is on the living room. They suggest that it was white with the poison in the living room. The player to the left of the accuser look at its cards. If that player has one card you asked, they must show you the card. Don't let other players see. If they have more than one of those cards, they can pick which one to show. And if the player has neither card, they must say so. If this happens, the next player checks their cards until someone shows you a card or until you have asked everyone. Once you have seen a card, you know it's not one of the face down cards in the swimming pool. Make a mark on your sheet. Play continues with the player on your left. Note that you cannot leave and re-enter a room to make a suggestion on the same turn even by a different door. If you think you know who did it, with which weapon and where, you can make an accusation right after making a suggestion, and you don't need to be in the room you're going to name, nor roll the dice. Example, Professor Plum accuses Mr. Green with the knife in the spa room. Then look at the three face down cards in the swimming pool. If the three cards you named match with the ones in the swimming pool, you win. If they don't match, you continue playing but you cannot move, make suggestions or accuse, and you keep showing cards when another player makes a suggestion. If no one makes a correct accusation, then the culprit got away and no one wins. And that's how you play clue board game grab and go. On Tabletop Duo you can find more how to play videos like these ones on the right. Thanks for watching and see you next time.